complete media blackout. All right, that's what we're seeing right now with what's happening here in America, complete media blackout. And guys, I'm not talking about simply a mainstream media blackout. I'm talking about InfoWars blackout. I'm talking about left media blackout, right media blackout. Picture a kangaroo court and then triple it and you will have an idea of what is happening. Most of America really has no clue. They're completely ignorant of what's happening in all our courtrooms from the federal to the local, but especially with the Bundy trial. A lot of people don't even realize the Bundys are still in jail, guys, and they've been in jail without trial, completely denied bail, completely denied their rights. First batch of Bundy trial defendants who are on trial for protesting at the Bundy ranch, all right? They're being brought to trial a second time because the first trial could not reach a verdict for most of them. A couple of them were convicted. Greg Burleson was sentenced to die in prison for simply protesting. As if these fake charges aren't bad enough. These fake charges and people going to prison for life for nothing is the norm now in America. This is not freedom and liberty. This is third world concentration camp red China, roll them all in and then wrap it in a pretty pageant with lots of flags and colors and people saying they're free and you'll have a rough idea. Impossible for me to describe the level of the treason in the courtroom, in particular with this Nevada trial, but let's not pretend this is only happening to the Bundys. This is all over America. But this Judge Navarro, I'm guessing she will be severely punished if she does not win this trial. The judge is the prosecutor in the trial, completely shutting down uh, witness testimony. The judge is essentially denying almost all of the witnesses for the defense. The judge is not letting the jury be in the room for most of the defense arguments. And the judge is flat out telling them you cannot discuss the Constitution, you cannot discuss what actually happened, you cannot discuss the way that you were abused by government officials, nothing that's relevant to the key of the case that happened at the Bundy Ranch protests, whether you agree with the protests or not. Nothing that's relevant is actually even being allowed in the courtroom. And so the jury is immediately shuffled out if anything comes up that's relevant to their case. Judge is essentially denying all witnesses, including news media that was there for the Bundy Ranch. All right? Because of that, Eric Parker is going on the, went on the stand today, and he wants to witness on his behalf, right? Now, all of these things are fundamental human rights. The judge has absolutely no authority to restrict what the defendant says in the courtroom in defense of themselves. It's completely illegal, it's immoral, and it's unconstitutional. They absolutely shut him down. And it got to the point, they would just object and object. And the judge, because she's there to work with the prosecutor, and I mean this quite literally, the judge simply stops him from making any of his arguments. He knows he's not allowed to explain why he did this or why this happened. He's not actually allowed to defend himself. But it gets worse, you guys. Even the jury, even though they were handpicked by the government and try, they're trying to rig that aspect of the trial, the jury, I think, is starting to see this. The jury's noticing that they're not actually hearing the evidence. They're not actually hearing defense testimony. The judge loses it. And she just tells Eric Parker, you're not allowed to testify. She actually told the defendant in his own case, he's not allowed to continue testifying. One of the jurors sends a note to the judge, right, presumably questioning something. The judge throws down the note on the counter and storms out of the room. All right? Court is, is recessed now. Everything related to this trial that's relevant is being completely kept from the courtroom. None of this can happen without the police there holding guns to people's head, right? Nobody could make Eric stop testifying in his defense. Nobody could keep the defense from bringing actual witnesses to the stand, you guys, without the enforcers. And so it's really important. This isn't just treason by the judge and the politicians all the way up to the presidential administration because it's Jeff Sessions... It's Trump's people who are actually bringing this prosecution, supporting this prosecution, and actually coming to Nevada to praise the prosecution's effort. I want to show you this. This is the Constitution. It enumerates 
our rights and liberties. It restricts the government. The federal government is only allowed to do what is in this document, you guys. It is non-existent. You don't have these rights recognized, but you know what? You have to remember. You have to stand up. You have to realize that you have the rights. They're human. They're inherent. They belong to everybody. They're not American. They're not Mexican. They're not limited to Christians. These are human rights, and you have to start affirming them. You have to start speaking out against all of the blue line, all of the judges. This is pure insanity, but it's not just this one courtroom because all of your officials— all of your politicians are complicit. Not one of your legislators in Congress is speaking out against this absolute sham of a trial, guys. Where's, where's your liberty legislators? Total blackout. Let's go to InfoWars page, you guys. I want to show you something. What is on InfoWars page? All that's on InfoWars page is praise for Donald Trump. I pulled it up a minute ago, and the pop-up on InfoWars page is, is saying America is back. Meanwhile, the people who actually defended America are sitting in a concentration camp and the judge is quite literally telling them you cannot tell the jury what happened. Let's get real. This is the Constitution of the United States, you guys. This is is your blue line who enforces every edict of treason at the point of a gun because without them, the traitors would be nothing and you would laugh at this is the Constitution. I don't care if you're black or blue or pink or white or Christian or Muslim or Mexican. Your rights are yours. They were not granted by this and they are certainly not protected by this. Was, this was beautiful, upholding our rights. It changed the world, but it is completely irrelevant to these courts. I respect this constitution enough and people's rights enough to tear it up because that's exactly, that's a representation of what the police have done, of what the blue line has done, what your politicians, whether left or right or Republican or Democrat, it's a blackout. It's a blackout from your so-called liberty legislators like your Trey Gowdy's or your Justin Amash's. It's a blackout from your state legislators who are supposed to be fighting for your liberty. It's a blackout from libertarian media. It's a blackout from right media. It's a blackout from left media. But you know what? We have Schaefer Cox's and Jeff Winehouse and Ammon Bundy's and Jerry DeLumis's. We have Native Americans and blacks and whites sitting away rotting in prisons on fake charges because we tolerated it. We tolerated the government that said you can't have that gun. You can't do this without a permit. Everything is illegal. We tolerated the government that said we're the feds and we're going to restrict that even though we have no authority to do it in the Constitution that gives us our authority. We tolerated electing officials and presidents who said, I will do asset forfeiture. I will steal your stuff. I will steal the stuff of your neighbors and those you don't like. We elected people who said that they would violate the Constitution and we continue to pretend that people are heroes who swore to protect that constitution that is now in shreds and tatters. We honor military men as they go fight in fake and illegal wars across the world while their country is literally murdered by the government they swore to protect us from. We say the police are doing good because they do a good deed here and there when not one officer will step up and every single officer in America will enforce these illegal laws. It is them taking your guns. It is them taking you to court. And it is them holding a gun on you in the courtroom to make sure you only talk about the things that that treasonous government allows you to talk about. Do you have any grasp of what is happening in your country? It is destroyed because we will not humble ourselves. We will not love our neighbor. We will not cast off our pride of saying we're better simply because of the flag we stand under. Human rights are the same for everybody. And we fall for fake narratives and fake terrorism and, and fake border chaos and fake propaganda and fake lies and fake wars while our government is literally right here destroying. I keep saying it and they keep attacking me. The people that claim to be patriots keep attacking all of us who speak out. They say Gavin hates the cops because I love them enough to tell them they are terrorists. They say everything that we've talked about has come to pass. The compliance has brought more abuse.
The playing along in Nevada has brought more insanity from the courtrooms, has only brought the hammer down harder. Every time we retreat, every time we say that the enemies of liberty are its friends, every time we compromise our conscience and our principles and our liberties because it's easier and it feels good to pretend that America's better and freer than the nation next door, every time our pride riles up within us, we spit in the face of the Creator who gave us liberty. We don't trust in God. We trust in lies, and those lies are failing us right here and right now. The solution is very simple. You have to stop. You have to stop lying to yourselves. You have to shout from the rooftops that our blue line and our judges and our politicians are evil. You have to throw out the faction and the party and pretending that your party or your group is fixing it when they're not. You have to turn against the real terrorists and stop falling for the narratives of terrorism that your government gives you because they sound patriotic. You have to stand up. You have to speak out like I'm doing right now. All of America right now should be making videos like this one talking about the absolute sham of justice happening in Nevada, across America, and in every courtroom. People are being sentenced to die in prison because they protested in America. Stop pretending we're the greatest nation that we're free or that we even have a constitution anymore and start standing up and opposing those who enforce this treason. I want to be very clear. I oppose the police in America. All of them. I oppose the blue line. I oppose the sheriffs. I oppose the judges. I oppose the prosecutors. I oppose them all, not because I'm hateful but because I love my neighbor and I even love them enough to stop pretending that their addiction to power and money, they are sick in their minds. The police officers are murderers and abusers and kidnappers and extortioners. They are mentally ill, psychotic, insane people who with guns are destroying their communities and this entire country with their friends in the judiciary and the politicians who have the gall to think that they have the right to make laws to rule over people who said themselves, we are making a law that limits what you can do. If you are not willing to oppose the blue line completely, then you are not willing to stand up. We could save this nation from bloodshed because our voice is a sword and it can be a sword for peace and you have to stop pretending as you hide away that words don't change anything because words change the world. And your voice openly telling your friends and your neighbors and your community that you oppose this system. You oppose the judges, the police, the sheriffs, because not one of them will do their job. And the day that they step up and start defending the rule of law instead of acting like terrorist syndicate, blue line criminals protecting their cronies, that's the day we'll stand with them. Until then, they are the enemy. And they should be regarded as such. I'm for peace. That's why I'm speaking to you today. Because I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't want to see people hurt. And that's what's coming to this nation. Because it is collapsing. The law is gone. The judicial system is gone. And due process is gone. So you have to decide. It's time. Are you a loyalist redcoat? Or do you love freedom and your neighbor? And are you willing to stand?